Okay, we've got a mechanical hour meter from our boat. We've taken it all apart. Uh, what happened, we found it was not uh, counting. So, uh, first thing we did, I uh, tested the back of it and When I tested it the first time, uh, there was probably a one mega ohm resistance. It wasn't open circuit. There was slight resistance. And um, so I figured that, well, it must be uh, uh, something wrong with the, uh, with the coil uh, inside. So uh, I, I jiggled the connections on the back because I see they're riveted. So... Uh, when I jiggled the connections, the resistance changed. So uh, I thought, well, I'll uh, I'll try soldering the uh, the connections together, and we'll get a better uh, a better contact. So when I did that, um, I tested it again on a battery, and I found that there was no uh, resistance at all. It was open circuit. So I thought, well, heck, now that I've, uh, I've soldered it, I've probably overheated it and I've melted the wires on the inside. So, uh, the bezel has to be, uh, bent back and pretty well destroyed in order to get it apart. But I wanted to see how it looked inside. So, uh, we'll pull this out. Oh, come on. All right. Okay, so we see the uh, the module itself is really an interesting little module. And you see on the back here, right there, these are spring contacts. So uh, when I was jiggling the connections here, um, it was making and breaking the uh, the contacts here. So uh, when we put the meter on it now. Not the contacts. Uh, we have resistance. 11 ohms. And 11 ohms on the fine wire of the, uh, of the coil here. That sounds about right to me. Uh oh, this came off. Let's put that back on again. There we go. And let's make that there on that connection. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so uh, what we're going to do now is I'll connect this to the battery. Uh, polarity doesn't matter because it's just a coil. And have a look inside. Uh, oh. Moment, please. Let's see where the contacts are here now. I can hardly see it myself. It's so darn small. Ah, there we are up top here. Okay, and that covers it so you can't really see it. Okay, uh, perhaps, let's make it a pointer. Pointer. Okay, let's get that closer here. Okay, can you see right in there? There's a contact here, yeah? See right there? Well, I've opened it, so I'll close it right there, yeah? See that? So when the magnet, uh, when the electromagnet is energized, pushes this down, and it starts the, um, the clock moving uh, here, yeah? And inside right there is the clock spring uh, mechanism, which makes the uh, spring here turn, yeah? And then when the, um, uh, when the coil is energized, it pushes this down, pushes that lever here up, like that, and then it starts the count, counting, and then uh, at the same time, it ticks over the uh, second here. 
Okay, so let's put that. Uh, is that going to happen now? Okay, we'll see how uh, how we can make that work so you can see it. It's really small. So it's pretty darn difficult to see. Okay, so I gotta put my hand on there so you can see it, and at the same time, where's my connection? There it is, right there. Okay, so you're only really gonna see it click, and then it'll release itself immediately. Okay, there it is. Okay, you see now that I've got the connection on, it's it it it, it contacts once, and then it releases immediately, and you notice that the started to count. Okay. Now the intro. Oh shoot! I just put it. <laughs> I put it d down and it uh, hit the uh, little counter. Shoot. Okay, let's start the counter again. Ah, heck. There we go. Okay, so now it's it's counting. Yeah. Um. And let's see how we can put this down here so it doesn't. Okay. So now when we put the meter on it. the other one right there there okay you see we have heck why did that stop again So as the electromagnet pulls down, it put, makes this arm go up, and then that um, winds a spring inside, which makes it start to count. Yeah, and you see it. See the arm coming down as it's counting, as it's doing its uh, clock spring thing. Okay, so let's put this back on the battery, and uh, hopefully we can see it continue to do its thing. Okay, we're watching this arm come down. Moment. There it is. Okay. So see how it uh, flicked up. Um, it only activated for a moment. Then it's back again, yeah? So what I'm getting at here is that after it only draws power only for that fraction of a second to draw the electromagnet down. And then it's open circuit after that. So uh, this was this was stuck um, because of uh, a friction. So uh, seems to be doing okay now, though. So I soaked it in WD-40 and um, to try and get it uh, get it functioning. But of course, I had to destroy the bezel pretty well in order to uh, make it uh, uh, try to get it apart. So we'll see it counting here each time. Moment. I didn't see it move. I'll give it a few more shots. No, I'm not seeing it move. I don't see it move. Okay, the second hour meter we have here, this is a 24 volt unit. And it looks like somebody's already opened it already. So you can see the old tape on it here. And this one is interesting because you look at 56,000 hours on this thing. 56,000 hours. So I find that hard to believe. So there's no pull. Is there polarity? No, no polarity. Okay, so when we connect power to this one, we get 24 volts here, yeah? On the two two batteries, yeah. Okay, have a look at this. You see how fast this is counting? You hear the uh, clicking noise there, yeah. So it's all over the place, yeah. So that's an interesting failure. So I can open up this one 
and see what it looks like on the inside. Looks like somebody's already opened it up. So I'll just take the old tape off here and see what it has to say. Okay, so that's much different than the other one, isn't it? Okay, I'll see if I can pull this out. Hmm. Let's see, uh, looks like it could be soldered in place here and here, I'm not sure. of the uh, plastic off. Nope. Doesn't want to come off like that. Doesn't want to pull out. Yes, I can see in here now where it's soldered. Okay, so I guess we drag out the solder yarn and we'll unsolder it. Not melting it. It's not a screw, is it? It looks like oh, it's soldered. Yeah? I can hardly see that. It's not melting it. So it probably then, yeah, it's steel. It's not solder. Oh, for Christ's sakes, yeah. It's like a rivet then. Shoot. Okay, it's a rivet, not solder. Okay, we'll put the solder yarn away. So how are we going to get the rivet out without destroying the board? Okay. Oops, shoot, I pressed too hard. Yeah, it's a freaking rivet. Yeah, look at that, eh? Okay. Okay, 
Let's see how we can uh, pull all this out now. Oh, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so the uh, couple of contacts here. And the contacts went into here. So it looks like that's a little uh, little motor, eh? Hmm. And a crystal. What does the crystal say? Crystal says... Uh, 3.92. 3.92. Interesting. Does that move? No, it doesn't. So obviously it's a little little motor there. Well, I have to take the bezel off here anyway. here anyway. Okay. There's a little counter. Oof, a little rusty it is, eh? And a little gear. Hmm, interesting. So we saw it uh, counting like crazy. So I wonder if uh, the issue is the uh, timer. That is probably a 555. No, I can't read it. It's too small. No, nope, can't read it. Could be an off amp too, eh? Okay, anyway, there you go. So it's going to mean nothing I can do with this. I would have liked to have known why it was uh, turning so funny. Probably because it's so badly rusted here, yeah? Yeah, these aren't turning at all, yeah? Yeah, these are all, these are all very very stiff because of the rust. So that's probably why that part was fluctuating so badly, and it'd be something with the circuit here that was causing the motor to turn way faster than it should have. Okay, anyway, there's nothing I can do with that one. That's it. Test the. Uh, current on this one. Eh? Okay, so we've got uh, the 24 volts going to it. AC. Now it's DC. Okay, we've got 25 volts, and we'll see what the, uh, the current is. Okay, current's a zero. Oh, DC, that's why. Okay, on <laughs> DC. All right, let's try this again, shall we? Oh, 0 0.27 milliamps. Wow, almost nothing, eh? At least it's constant, eh? 0.27 milliamps. Okay. And if this was the other type, which you can't tell until you've taken it apart, let's see what the resistance is across there. Infinite, infinite resistance. Okay. Nothing. Hmm, interesting. Okay. Okay, so that makes it pretty hard to diagnose these. That's it.